Hey folks, Jim Gale here again with Brian Hickok, Nick Atkinson behind the camera, and our good friend Gabe, who lent us this, or has actually given us this aloe plant. So most of you have heard about aloe and the benefits of aloe. This is something that I've heard about since I was younger. But what's interesting is that we don't use more of it because this plant can do so many things and it's easy to grow even inside your home. Even in Minnesota, we had one since I was a little kid, thing lasted forever. So Brian, tell us some of the details about why everybody should be growing an aloe plant. Well, Jim, I'm, I'm amazed by uh, these plants. As more and more we look into them, it's just the properties and the health benefits that are right in your backyard that you could literally grow in your backyard. Um, it's just- Or in your living room. Uh, yeah, or in your living room for that <laughs> matter. It's just amazing. Yeah. So aloe vera, there's, there's over 500 different aloe plants. Aloe vera is the most medicinal of all of them. And uh, this plant likes uh, arid weather, Mediterranean weather, again, like, like we were talking about uh, with our other medicinals, uh, the, you know, the thyme, the sage, the oregano, and all those, same type of environment. Uh, it's from the, the cactus family, so it wants water maybe once or twice a month a big dose of water, otherwise it likes plenty of sunshine. If you got those elements and uh, some good drainage soil to put it in, then uh, that's all you need to have your own medicinal plant in the back. Now we've been talking about essential oils and how to turn uh, plants into oils. This you can turn into an oil, but it has so many benefits just on its own. Just the gel in it on its own is so beneficial. So um, if we were to take one of these uh, leaves, one of these uh, stems off, arms, and cut this open. Right away, you can see the gel that's in there. Now, uh, Nick, get a close up of that. Look at how jelly that is. That's just seeping. Look at that. That's good stuff right there. That is the medicinal part of this plant. So, along the edges, you're going to see like a yellow tinge. Um, that see see this how it has this yellow color on it. That's what you don't want. So when we, if we cut this down the middle, you'll see it's more of a clear gel. Yeah. This clear gel is what we're looking for. Now the yellow stuff, it does have a, a, some medicinal properties to it also. It's called uh, alanine and that what that does is it uh, has diff 12 different components in it that are laxative. So that's why you want to be careful. If you don't have a problem, if you're not constipated, Obviously, you're gonna to want to limit that, but if you do, it's great, you know. Once you get things going again, then you could uh, go back to just taking out the clear gel, and you could take this out, stick it uh, in some water, make sure you get all the yellow part off again, uh, and then you stick it in a blender, add a little stevia or um, honey, peppermint or whatever, yeah, yeah, and then add some of your favorite essential oils to it, like a peppermint flavor or something like that. Blend it up put water in it to get it to the right consist consistency that you like and then uh, there you go you got a perfect uh, drink and it's loaded with minerals like uh, selenium which is it's a rare element that so many people are low on you can look into selenium and it's tied into breast cancer and uh, women especially are low in selenium for some reason wow. their bodies have a harder time absorbing it so um, but it's got copper, uh, it's got magnesium, it's got calcium, all these great things just in this one plant. And tons of uh, antioxidants, uh, vitamin C, uh, B12s, uh, vitamin A, just on and on and on. Okay, so I gotta say it, Hippocrates, what did he say? Let thy food be thy medicine, let thy medicine be thy food. When you can have this for free in your house, you take a plant, these plants get, in fact, Gabe, come in, how long have you had this plant? Come on in and share with us real quick. Um, tell us you bought this how many months ago? Well, I, a little closer in here. I've had the plant for about six months now. Okay. And it's just economically smart to have one of these. Yeah. In Florida, you're gonna get sunburn, it's yeah. a fact. Yeah. And if you're gonna get a sunburn, you're gonna end up buying aloe vera at the store. You can just go to the your backyard, cut a little yep. piece, put it on the sunburn, right and you're done. Right there, yeah. done deal. And you and, do that a few times a day? On top of that, Gabe, the, you know, a lot of the processed aloe, it takes a lot of these uh, medicinal values out of them. When they process them so much with the heat uh, and the uh, compression and, and grinding them all up and the blending and then storing them, all that damages the uh, properties of this plant. Absolutely. So the best way to use it is to just right take it off right off the source. The source. 
So, and, and this is growing fast, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think uh, when I uh, bought the first one, yeah. it was about this small. Yeah. And it's growing pretty well so far. You just leave it out in the sun. And these are so. the ehos, the babies of, of the first one? Yes. That's amazing. So six months later, you've already got a bunch of proliferation with this plant. So medicine right at your fingertips. Brian, what else? Now I heard this stuff can help with diabetes. There's clinical studies done. That yep, it lowers blood sugar. Uh, they tested, uh, there's two clinical studies done. Uh, 72 women, they tested. Uh, they gave them one tablespoon of uh, aloe vera gel a day and it drastically decreased the blood sugar in those women. Um, so, <laughs> so it's a for diabetes, brainer. I don't know. Diabetes, <laughs> um, I've heard a lot of stuff about this with burns. No, not only um, sunburns, but actual burn burns, right? Aloe is a great healer. Yep. Any any type of cut, yep. it, it actually, uh, it'll if you have a cut, yeah. it, it, it doubles the uh, healing process. Wow. So half the time to yeah. heal. If, as if you were to just put a band-aid on it. If you put the gel on there with it, half the time, and there's been multiple studies done on that. Now, aloe also helps you metabolize fat, and it helps with, what, cellulite? Yep, it helps uh, metabolize the sugar also, because it's got that anti-inflammatory property, yep. which goes into basically all the health benefits of your body. So, yeah, it's great for uh, cellulite, uh, stretch marks, so women that uh, recently gave birth, it's perfect. You put that on yeah. every day, and uh, the but gel is great because it stays be on for a long huge for you, right? And what about cold sores? This is incredible for cold sores. So if you take a little bit, if you're prone to cold sores, you take a tiny bit of this every day, go like that, the yeah. odds go down significantly that you're going to get a cold sore. Mm -hmm. And it reduces the inflammation and the pain if you do have one. Yeah, there you go. And it's also antiviral, so yeah. it actually attacks the virus. It, I know, probably won't get rid of it virus completely but it's, it aids in the process and so why don't you have one of these you probably didn't know this stuff now that you know it you really got to get one of these things I mean honestly gosh if you don't you're just kind of throwing money out the door you're throwing health out the door you're throwing the answer to self-reliance and this type of thing bringing food production and bringing medicine production back home yep. is how we can all be more secure, more self-reliant, more independent. You know, you want to be free of the system. Well, you, the people that are the silliest are the ones bashing the heck out of the system, but yet aren't free of it, right? Mm -hmm. We, you know, the system is fragile. Having this stuff at your fingertips is the answer to so many of the world's most obvious problems. And you can turn this into an oil too, by the way. Um, if you want, uh, instead of a distiller like we've been showing you in the past videos, uh, with the aloe vera plant, you could just mix half gel, half coconut oil, makes a good yeah. carrier oil, and uh, you just heat it on a low heat because you don't want to destroy the enzymes. That's one thing I forgot. Loaded with enzymes, just loaded with amino acids. It has eight of the eight essential amino acids that your body need so it's so just, can you drink so, put so, this in a blender and drink it you can absolutely yeah so you take that the all that like i was saying you get the yellow part off stick it in a blender yeah. add water some stevia it's perfect and it get all those nutrients just i mean isn't that amazing so you no know more vitamins <laughs> no more minerals no more supplements other than basically if you have an aloe vera plant you're set look at your receipts <laughs> for the last year how much money did you spend buying the things that we just mentioned. I mean, do that and then realize that you could just go into the yep. corner of your house, cut it out, do a few yep. minute process way quicker than going to the store. And it's, yeah, periodontal disease, uh, which is gum disease. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, you know, you could use it in the That's toothpaste. Amazing. Shampoos, uh, it's great for dandruff, psoriasis, acne, wow. on and on. So, hmm. Hmm. And it's best mixed with peppermint. <laughs> so I want to thank Gabe for the jump in here and for giving us this medicine, this incredible plant that looks beautiful. It feels good to have plants in your house or in your yard and it has so many other purposes. And please like and share. We're going out there big. We want to bring these self-reliance tricks and tools and this education information to you all. So uh, let us help us change the world. We're going to bring it home. 
All right, thanks, Brian. All right, thanks a lot. Beautiful stuff. Thanks, Nick. Ciao for now. Bye.